Hey you guys, I went ahead and created some more paintings off camera uh, just because I have a difficult time emoting and creating these on camera. But I wanted to show you what I was able to achieve. Isn't that chain of cells really cool? There's so many colors inside of it. But I wanted to show you what you can achieve if you do try this modality. I fuss with it a lot and play with it a lot to be able to get it to where I like it and I fear that it would have been too long of a video to show you. Um, if you see that sparkle, I think it's coming through from the green, but this one is really pretty. Once it dries, this will be show ready and um, this is one that I will sell. Here's another one. Yes, I dry them on my washer and dryer on old canvases. <laughs> You can see the silicone, how it created just that, all those cells. And it's so cool because there's so many colors that get squished together with the pouring medium. And that's part of what makes these paintings, I feel, so pretty. And this vibrancy will not go away. This will keep, and look, you can see more sheen of the green. It will keep and it will not go away. And the silicone, even though it's bumpy over there, some of that will even out. Um, and then I'm going to come around here, and again, I have a very rustic basement, like I said. And here's the last one that I created. So this one's a little bit different, and you guys may not like it, and I get that. Um, it's pretty intense. I find that these at the art shows tend to sell really well, too. There's a lot of cell activity there. There's something about red and the human eye being drawn to it and people really loving it. So the ones where I use the black and the red, they tend to sell very quickly. So I just wanted to show you what you guys could achieve with this if you play around with it. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great night.